Audio Surf is a clean PC twist on the rash of Guitar Hero and Rock Band style games. With customizable graphics and numerous playstyles, it offers a new way to experience your music without relying on a beanbag chair and some LSD. Not being a graphically driven game allowed the developers to utilize an abstract design for the game world. Essentially a road with multiple lanes, the contents of the road and scenery are constructed algorithmically according to the song one chooses to play. Various visual constructs are designed to fill any space of the screen not occupied by the path being driven, and tend to give each song its own visual flair as interpreted by the AI. Story The meta story is as deep as the story gets in Audio Surf. Songs are chosen individually by the player, the track is constructed, and then performed. The only conflict in the story is that of the player's objective of acquiring a high score, which is only opposed by the player's lack of skill in navigating the environment. One could argue that this is in fact an experiential story, perhaps resulting in a descriptive story as one recounts the events to a friend, or as the scoreboard validates one's experience, but this argument holds about as much water as our favorite straight-line Tetris block. Gameplay Player agency is relatively limited in audio surf. A player exercises one's time of action by controlling a chosen car on a chosen path in order to score points in the order they're available, at the speed they're available. There is no simultaneity. Points are accrued with a relatively high frequency, and each car will construct any song in a familiar fashion. This allows players to become proficient with the skill involved with any one car and exercise it on any song they might enjoy, whereas playing a single song with multiple cars will familiarize a player with the technical construction of the song, but not necessarily make them a better player. The extent of a player's navigation is choosing what lane to occupy on the road. The speed at which the car travels is not controllable, and there are no forks in the road or multiple directions from which to choose. Fortunately, this also means there is almost no dead time in the game, aside from selecting your song or the very brief loading screens. Event time is also entirely predictable, and playtime is maximized through this game structure. Mapping is certainly a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one relationship between event time, playtime, and real time. The speed and flow can both vary on a song-by-song -song basis, but between songs, players may choose to take as much or as little time as they like to prepare for the next song. Given that each song's speed and flow are designed entirely from the volumes and tempos of the chosen song, they feel natural to the primary audible cues experienced by the player. This is what ties the experience together for the player, uniting the control mechanism, the abstract visual representation, and the music together in a seamless experience. Final Impression Audio Surf provides good entertainment by allowing any music to be used, and by offering several card types, ensuring that it won't become stale after only playing a couple songs. This is definitely how it stands out among most other music-driven games. It's a good time, and if you have similar taste in music as your friends, you can easily compare scores with them and mock their inability to be as awesome as you.